Hey you guys, I am starting my weight loss vlogs once again and I am so excited because I, those of you that followed me last year when I did my weight loss vlogs, um, I did really well. I was on a big health kick and I lost a lot of weight and the reason why I had to is because I wasn't healthy, high blood pressure. Um, high cholesterol and um, so I had to do something about it and I had to get healthy and my doctor told me you need to lose weight you need to eat right and everything will go back to normal and it did I lost a good amount of weight I think I was like my starting weight was 189 I think that's what it was on my very first weight loss vlog of last year 189 and I got down to about 167 pounds and I'm five foot seven so getting up to 189, 90, 190 pounds is not good for my height. And let me tell you why, because I am a nursing student. Um, just because somebody isn't obese or morbidly obese doesn't mean that they're not going to have health issues. And that's one thing I think everybody fails to forget. Um, I did have a friend that was in the Air Force with my husband because my husband used to be in the Air Force and his dad actually he was a very thin man and always thought he was in good shape everything and he had a heart attack so I know I'm not a big girl but I'm not a small girl either my whole life I was about 130 135 pounds a size four or five my whole life and then I grew up got married had kids and I have not been a size four or five since I was oh my gosh you guys I think the last time I was that size literally was when I was like 19 20 years old um, the smallest I've been besides that is probably like a seven eight and I think last year I got down to like a size 8, 10. It's between an 8 and a 10, depending, because you know how sizes vary. And you know, somebody asked me here on on YouTube, which I don't mind, on my um, Vegas vlog, um, why do you shop at Torrid? Um, and they weren't trying to be rude or anything. They are just wondering why. And you know, she messaged me and said, you're so small. Well, I'm not small. <laughs> um, I am a size 14. I don't have any shame saying that. Um, I'm very bottom heavy. I'm Hispanic and German. My dad is Germ German, Scott Irish. He's all this stuff. You know how everybody's mixed nowadays. Everybody's a mutt. And then my mom is Hispanic and Hispanic women have big hips and thighs and we're like curvy. And so I'm a size 14. Um, Whenever I gain weight, you can't really tell on my face. And I get that from my mom. My mom can gain a lot of weight and still have a thin face. And you guys only see me from the top up. And I'm by no means am, am I saying I am a big girl or a small girl. I am just kind of in between right now. I'm not big and I'm not small. But I do fit into some clothes at Torrid. I fit into the pants and, you know, I don't fit into the tops. Um, the dress I wore in my Vegas vlog is from Torrid. It was a little bit big up here because I am smaller on the top, like I said, and bigger on the bottom. But it fit around the waist good, so it actually looked pretty, pretty nice. Um, and that's the first time I ever had to shop at Torrid. I did shop at Lane Bryant once before too, but other than that, I usually fit into... I'm usually like a size... 12 on average which I can shop at New York and Company, Target and find anything to wear. And that's a good size for me because I'm taller, I'm 5 foot 7. I'm not my bone frame is not small. It's um you know what I mean, I'm not tiny. But anyways, you guys, my main point is that you don't have to be morbidly obese to have problems. I am 40 pounds overweight and um I am forced to lose weight right now because I'm having some health issues. But um, the doctor told me once you lose weight and change your diet, you will be good to go. But I have to. It's not a, you know, it's a must this time. I have to, have to. And it was a must last time because of my blood pressure. But now there's a couple other things going on. But um, like I said, as soon as I lose weight and eat better, 
I'll be fine. And I want to encourage you guys, if you need to lose weight, to come on this journey with me because I am going to need motivation. And I know some of you are going to need motivation as well because... When somebody tells you, last year I wasn't told you have to cut out this kind of food. This year I was told you have to cut out certain types of foods. I pretty much have to be on a low fat, low protein diet. Um, no red meats, not a lot of dairy. I have to eat a lot of um, vegetables and fruits and no white breads, no starches. Um, I have to eat a lot of... Um, I have chicken, it has to be like chicken breast, no fat, um, I have to have a lot of fish, um, just stuff like that, really healthy eating and you know, so when the doctor told me I couldn't even have certain foods, I felt like, holy crap, what the hell am I going to do and it freaked me out, you guys, it totally freaked me out and um, but you know what, I sat there and I thought about it and I thought, you know, if I want to live a long and healthy life, then I'm not only going to have to do this for myself, but I'm going to have to do it for my kids as well because they need their mommy and they need me so much. My husband needs me, my family needs me, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, everybody needs me and it's like a wake-up call. And I don't want you guys to go to the doctor and have a wake-up call, whether it's high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, which I don't have heart disease. No, I got that checked out a long time ago, and I'm good. I do have um, an irregular heartbeat, but my heart's fine, so I am perfectly okay. But um, And I hardly go to the doctor, so I went this time because I was just having some pains in my abdomen and... Um, like I said, I'm having some issues, but the doctor said if you eat healthy, right diet and exercise, you will be perfectly fine. And so when you see somebody who's not totally overweight or obese, you see somebody like me, don't judge them and say, well, why do you have to lose weight or why do you have to diet? I am not, um, I have a lot of um, weight on my midsection and I don't mind showing you guys. I totally don't because I want to show you because I've done that before on my other weight loss vlog. I actually did measurements and you guys got to see my midsection. <laughs> so um, it's not bad, but just because you're not morbidly obese doesn't mean you can't have problems. I could be a toothpick standing in front of you guys and have major serious health issues. So I'm just going to show you my midsection a little bit. So you guys can see, I don't mind, and um, I'm wearing my monkey pajamas, yes I am. Like I said, it's not, it's not that bad, it's enough, see, and I'm having swelling in this area right now, um, but, oh see, I got blood work done today, woo, -woo. was not fun. It is never fun when they got to poke you and do some blood work. Never, ever, ever. Sorry, guys. You know, I look like a mom right now because I've had a long day. Um, but anyways, I want to encourage you guys to be healthy with me. I need motivation and encouragement this time majorly. And I know that um, a lot of you guys do too. And... Um, there's some videos you might see me crying or some videos you might see me like totally pissed off because I'm like, I am struggling. I am not having a good day. This is horrible. Um, but I want to let you guys know I have lost, I think, about two pounds so far because I have started to um, eat better. I juice. The doctor told me to continue to juice because juicing is amazing for your body. So if you can juice, do that. And I'm going to start doing that even more. Um, those of you that follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, I put up a picture of what I ate today for lunch, and it was a vegetable mixture with some olive oil, some chicken breast cut up, sauteed, and it was yummy and healthy. So, and it was actually good. Eating healthy can be good, and I forgot that because you know I was eating healthy last year, and you tend to forget that. You think that you need all this greasy, nasty, horrible food, and you don't. 
you don't need it. And the reason why I gained all this weight back, I'll be completely honest with you guys, is because I am a nursing student and there are just times where you're so stressed out that you try to find energy from somewhere. You're up studying until three or four in the morning, and then you have to be up early to go to class. So you're living off of two hours of sleep. You're like, oh my God, I need coffee. I'm on the run. I don't feel like packing something healthy. And that's where my mistake happened. I could have easily packed something healthy to snack on, but instead I grabbed my Starbucks coffee. If you think Starbucks is healthy, it's not. Okay, even the skinny vanilla lattes are not. The only thing that can be healthy from Starbucks is if you get a black coffee and you add a little bit of stevia or sweetener and no creamer, then that's healthier than their lattes or whatever. And I love Starbucks. I'm the biggest Starbucks fan you will ever meet besides Tati Glam Life Guru. I think she's more of a Starbucks-aholic than I am. Check her out. She's pretty cool. She's here on YouTube, but she's like a Starbucks addict like me. But anyways, um, yeah, um, I screwed up. I totally started eating like crap, like shiz. I don't want to put the tea on. I started eating like crap. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for all being motivating and inspiring. Um, the reason why I have my channel, and I'll say it again, I'm as real with you guys as I can be. I think it can be even more real in my vlogs. I love vlogging, you guys. I love it. I love it. Um, I used to do motivational speaking, inspirational speaking, and so it's great to be able to get in front of the camera and talk to you guys. Um, thank you guys so much. I made my channel to mentor you guys, to inspire you, to motivate, not only to teach you about makeup or beauty or how to save money, but also with stuff like this. You know, and that's what I get joy out of. I mean, whether one person or 50 million watch this video, I don't care as long as I am getting to somebody out there. And I hope a lot of you will get on this weight loss journey with me because it is tough. It is tough, especially when you're overweight. And you don't, if you're not overweight and you're not healthy, you're thin and you're healthy and you just want to get healthy with me too, go for it. We can do this together. You will see what I'm eating. I want to do vlogs on my juicing, um, different recipes, show you guys different snacks that I'll be eating. Um, but thank you guys so much. If you guys ever need anything, and I am so serious, and I put this on my Facebook page and on Twitter, don't hesitate to um, DM me, direct message me, personal message me on Facebook, Twitter, um, on YouTube. If you'd want to tweet me, I will tweet you back. Somebody told me, oh my gosh, I never tweeted you because I didn't think you were going to tweet me back because a lot of big gurus don't tweet back, you know, their subscribers. And first of all, I don't like the word guru. I mean, um, I think I've said that before in my other videos. I don't consider myself that because being a guru means having great knowledge of something. And I don't think I have great knowledge in makeup or anything else in life. I think we are growing all the time and everybody is growing and learning all the time. And um, so I wouldn't say I'm an expert. Um, I am a freelance makeup artist. However, I have not been doing it a lot lately because of my school. And um, to be honest with you guys, I think this is God's way of telling me I need to take care of myself and it's like a timeout and um, I want to be healthy and I want you guys to be healthy too um, because it affects you mentally, emotionally and it sucks and I just want to, I know I've said thank you so many times but seriously thank you guys so much. Um, you all are an inspiration to me and for those of you that watch it's amazing and for those of you who are subscribed thank you so much i am so appreciative to everybody who is subscribed to me and who watches if you are new to my channel and you just subscribed because i saw so many new subscribers thank you guys so much and i hope you guys get a lot out of my videos because that is what i want that is my ultimate goal um for you guys and I want to thank a couple of people on here that are on YouTube, on Twitter, 
um, that are just inspirational to me and thank you so much for helping me out and thank you like I said to all of you but I first off want to thank Kelly Anderson um, I have her on my Facebook page thank you Kelly so much I mean it's so great to be able to message you and for you to be so motivating to me thank you so much I mean it just means the world to me that um, you actually talk to me, I talk to you, and she's one of my subscribers, and she's amazing. Um, I also want to thank Kirsten Poth. Um, she is Rosen Lieb here on um, YouTube, and she's amazing. Kirsten, you are fabulous. I love you. You're just, she was like an angel to me, like sent in my life, and she's one of my subscribers. I'm her subscriber. She's amazing. Um, I also want to thank Nessa Jane. She has her YouTube channel here. And anybody who has a YouTube channel, I'll list their um, links below. But Nessa Jane is amazing. Um, she is so healthy and health conscious. And she is going to be helping me along the way on my journey um, to eating better. And thank you so much because I really, really need that right now. Um, Cindy... Um, I'm a crafty nurse. Amazing. I just talked to her like not too long ago on the phone. She's amazing also. She has her YouTube channel. I will link her below as well in the information box. Everybody will be in the information box. Um, also, I don't want to forget anybody. I think all of you guys, but um, there's so many people out there right now that are just inspirational to me that are Oh, just amazing. Have you guys checked out Sam Sherman? Sam, you're amazing. Um, I watch your, well, I know you haven't been doing a lot of vlogs, but her vlogs are amazing. Her and her husband and Mr. Phoenix, her little boy. So amazing because they're so true and real life vlogs. And that's what I love. Um, so check out Sam Sherman. She's amazing as well. Um, it's Judy Time and Benji Man TV as well. I watch their vlogs and it makes me want to get healthy and now that I have to get healthy um, they're amazing um, so you can check out them um, it's Judy's Life and Benji Man TV um, but yeah thank you guys so much I hope you guys enjoy my weight loss vlogs um, and we'll help each other out and that's what it's all about but thank you guys so much it's not so easy to share you know your personal life and I'm not sharing too much of my personal life with you guys but you know I think this is awesome we're gonna get healthy and we're gonna do it and we can do this together so thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later